Thanks, Patty. Right now, we are in one of Indianapolis' hidden gems with Stevie Stays. And Stevie, a lot of people know you because you have the uh, the job of directing the city market of Indianapolis. And that's really where we are, even though it might not look like it. Probably a lot of people wouldn't recognize this as Indianapolis City Market, but it definitely is a big part of it. Mm -hmm. And by big, we mean really large, as in it's kind of the basement. It's the basement of the former Tomlinson Hall, which stood above us uh, from 1886 to 1958 when it burned, tragically. And there are probably plenty of people in, still in Indianapolis who remember Tomlinson Hall before we, before we lost it. But this amazing place that a lot of people want to see is what's left. So tell us what we call it, because it's so kind of fun. This is the catacombs, and a lot of people associate the word catacombs with buried bones and bodies and we don't know there's no evidence indicating that there are any buried bones down here but right. it was coined back in uh, several years ago as more of a marketing term for this space which was the basement of Tomlinson Hall and it's 22,000 square feet of brick archway after brick archway it's completely labyrinthian it's stunning and haunting and weird at the same time right and but you know just in case you were wondering it was pretty much for storage. In later years, and flash to today, we host events and parties and Prohibition Repeal Day events and, and uh, different people can rent it out for private parties as well as organizations can use it. So it's, it's being used quite a bit today. If people want to come take tours, like the kind you're giving me today, who should they get in touch with if they want to take a tour? We partner with Indiana Landmarks. So on their website, um, indianalandmarks.org, is all of the information about how to book a tour. We're a little out of season right now. We typically do tours made through October. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to do a private tour with more than 10 people, you can still do that. I highly recommend it if you love Indianapolis history, because Tomlinson Hall had so much history. Yes. And if you love the mysterious and the um, symmetric Symmetrical? <laughs> it's tremendously symmetrical. Um, and so we would like to uh, say, come visit, right? Come visit, absolutely. We actually opened up the catacombs for tours during the Super Bowl. I don't think it was anybody who was here for the Super Bowl. It was all locals saying, Indianapolis City Market has what? Indy right. has what? You know, catacombs? What are these catacombs things? So based on that success, we've just continued it since 2012, and it's been amazing. Wonderful. And so, Patty, all of those people who weren't Super Bowl guests who are still here in Indianapolis, they can still come visit. And we would like to encourage them to do so. So I'm Shannon Cagle for Great Day TV. Back to you, Patty.